Um, so, my name is Jonathan White, and I'm going to talk to you about a very exciting project that I'm working on called the Learning Portal for DMA for Peacebuilding. A little background, I work for an organization called Search for Common Ground. We're the largest peacebuilding organization in the world with over 400 staff and 28 country offices worldwide. Now, this is a collaborative project between us and one of the best schools in Washington, D.C., American University's uh, Peacebuilding and Development Institute. And our mission is to essentially give the peacebuilding community space to, an interactive space to enrich the value and quality of the work that we're doing, and from the conceptual level all the way down to the day-to-day -day implementation of peacebuilding activities in the field. Um, and while we're specifically targeting the peacebuilding community, uh, we do hope that this will provide uh, information and space that's relevant for the wider development community as well as the, its evaluation. So what we're really trying to do is to enhance the field's capacity to learn about effectiveness, what's working, what isn't, why, and to provide stakeholders with relevant, up-to-date information on peacebuilding DM&E. Um, so with that in mind, the, the Learning Portal will be a field-wide repository for uh, knowledge, resources, and events for the field. Um, and towards that end, uh, we have over 200 resources currently cataloged and searchable on our website. Um, some of these you'll be very familiar with, very standard DM&E uh, resources. Some of these are very specific to peacebuilding, such as the reflecting on peace practice method methodology. Um, so, and this also includes evaluation reports. We're really trying to promote a lot of transparency in the evaluation process, so that the field can learn better, and everybody, and we can all just improve our practices. And ultimately, that helps you, your job as an evaluator. It makes it a little bit easier, hopefully. Um, so, this will also allow you to. Oh, I'm a little behind, so we'll just skip ahead a little bit. <laughs> We're also posting evaluation reports on our website from a range of different organizations. It's currently just evaluation reports, but we're going to be expanding this to other data sets such as baselines and endline reports. So if next time you're doing an evaluation in a conflict zone and you don't have a baseline, check the learning portal because we might have some relevant data. Right, so sharing knowledge and experience. <laughs> The, the point of the learning portal is to interact with other people, to share your experiences, to promote cross-fertilization across different fields. Um, peace building evaluation is a very young field. Um, some of you may know Cheyenne Church. She's a frequent uh, comer to these uh, meetings. And a few years ago, she suggested that peace building evaluation was a, a teenager, if you will. Um, it makes me feel young again. So uh, in order to mature uh, the field, we suggest that a culture shift is needed and that in order to achieve that culture shift, we want to place uh, DM&E, reflective practice, and transparency at the heart of what we're doing of peace building um, from the very beginning of design all the way to evaluation and completion. So um, there's a lot of things that you can do on the learning portal, and this includes registering on our roster of consultants. I guess I'm a little bit ahead again. Oh, well. It's supposed to be funny, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you can register on our roster of consultants. We have a very unique roster of consultants that specialize either in peace building evaluation or who are looking to break into peace building evaluation. If you're interested in conflict zones, understanding what's going on there, you should check this out. It should be very interesting. Finally, you can also interact on our forums. Uh, the slide should be coming up any moment now, hopefully. Uh, and um, promote cross-fertilization. Just by your very interaction on this website, you're promoting greater cross-fertilization amongst disciplines and ultimately helping us become more effective. And again, it also makes your job as an evaluator slightly easier. Again, hopefully. So you can find out more on our website, dmneforpeace.org. Um, it's currently not live yet. We're going to be launching at the end of the month. So, you know, that's all right. But uh, if you want some more information, you can contact me on my email address. And I've also been tweeting throughout the entire conference. And you can follow us on social media. Um, and just to wrap it up, there's a few other peace building uh, sessions going on this, uh, this conference. Um, one of them was earlier this afternoon by Mercy Corps. They did a very excellent presentation on outcome evaluation and peace building. And on uh, Saturday, both in the morning and in the afternoon, there'll be two sessions. The first one is on uh, media for peace building, and the second is on theories of change in peace building. So um, check it out, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time. Thanks.